This video is how to divide decimal dividends by multiples of 10 and reason decimal placement. If we have the problem 54 divided by 10, we can use what we already know to solve it. If we look at put it on a place value chart, we have our tens, ones, decimal, tenths, and hundredths. I added in a zero because I know I have zero tenths, but that helps me when I look at the decimal. Remember that using the place value chart, if I'm dividing by 10, I only need to slide it one place to the right. So my five tens turn into five ones, my four ones turns into four tenths, and my zero tenths stays or turns into zero hundredths. And I rewrite it as five and, don't forget the decimal, four tenths and zero hundredths. So I have 54 divided by 10 is 5 and 4 tenths. Okay. If I apply the same idea to the problem, 5 and 4 tenths divided by 10, I do the same thing. 5 ones moves one place value over, so it becomes 5 tenths, and 4 tenths slides one place value over and becomes 4 hundredths, so I no longer have any ones, so I write my zero. Don't forget your decimal. I have five tenths and four hundredths. So five and four tenths divided by ten turns into fifty-four hundredths. Let's take that problem one step farther. We have fifty-four divided by ninety. Now before something you want to keep in mind with all these problems is don't flip the numbers. I know that you've gotten used to dividing a larger number by a smaller number, but we're taking it to the next step and you need to break that habit. Okay? Just by looking at it, you know that your quotient will be less than 1. So make sure that you're being careful when you are dividing. The first way that we can look at this problem is do 90 divided by 54. Okay. If you set it up this way, the very first thing that I want you to do after writing the problem is put in your decimal. Okay. And once you put it here, make sure that you bring it up. Okay. If you don't bring it up right away, you will make a mistake. The next thing that I want you to do is write in a zero in the ones place. Because you know that 54 divided by 90 is going to be less than 1, so start with zero in the ones place. Okay, we also know that 90 does not go into 54, but we can put a 0 in the tenths place. And we look at it and say, yeah, we know that 90 goes into 540. We're not sure how many times. And we're going to estimate. So what I would do is I would cover up the 0 and say, how many times does 9 go into 54? In my head, that's 6. So on my the side, I'm going to do... 9 times 6, that is 54. But since it's 90 times 6, I need to solve it both ways. 0, 540. Okay, that works. So I'm going to write my 540 and subtract it, which is 0. So the number that moves up is my 6. Okay, and it is six tenths. Then I'm going to check my work. Don't skip this step because if you make a mistake it's easier to find it quickly. So we have 90 times six tenths. Six times zero is zero. Six times nine is 54. So we have 540 but don't forget that decimal and I'll put it in and we do have 54. Now, there's another way that you can solve this problem. And it's breaking it down into smaller pieces. You can do 54 divided by 9 and then divided by 10 because we know, and hopefully you remember, that 90 is the same as 9 times 10. So we can use that here. Personally, I find the first one easier. And what I would do is I would do 54 divided by 9, 
divided by 10, because I know that 54 divided by 9 is 6. And then 6 divided by 10, as I bring that down, 6 divided by 10, you use your place value chart, and you find that it is 6 tenths. If you do 54 divided by 10, you do have your 5 and 4 tenths divided by 9, which you know because we solved that on the last part, but it is a little bit different here. Um, but you do get the same solution of 6 tenths. It's your choice to do it either way, whichever you find easier. Try this problem, or these two problems, on your own and compare them. 14 and 7 tenths divided by 7 and 14 and 7 tenths divided by 70. After you solve the first one, see if you can reason the second one before you solve it. When I solve 14 and 7 tenths divided by 7, I find my quotient is 2 and 1 tenth. Again, make sure that you've included that decimal. I'm going to reason that 14 and 7 tenths divided by 70, I'm going to move the decimal one more place over because I know that 70 is a greater number than 7, so I'm dividing 14 and 7 tenths by a larger number. Okay, That's like saying that I have 5 cookies divided by 5 people, each person gets one cookie, and then I'm saying I have 5 cookies divided by 50 people, each person is going to get one-tenth of a cookie. And when I saw 14 and 7 tenths divided by 70, I do see that my solution, my quotient, is 21 hundredths. Okay? And I see that my reasoning was correct because I'm adding a zero here. I am moving the decimal one more place over. So I have one-tenth of what I did for the other problem.